So when visitors visit the Natural History Museum and the Last American Dinos exhibit, when it opens November 25th, 2014, they will walk into the last ecosystem and organisms in the last ages of the dinosaurs from 66 to 68 million years ago. Hi, my name is Siobhan Stars, and I'm an exhibit developer here at the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History. So I'm standing in front of Hatcher the Triceratops. He's an iconic specimen at the museum. He's been part of our collection since the 1800s. We last reassembled him around 2000, 2001 to make him more scientifically accurate. And as part of the first phase of the development of the new exhibition, we decided to keep him on exhibit and move him upstairs to this new temporary exhibition gallery. So first we moved Hatcher's torso and body here onto this new platform. But then the biggest feat was to move his skull back into place very gently. So we had three people and a forklift slowly and carefully raising the skull up on level with the rest of the body and then reconnecting him to the body. So when visitors visit, they'll see first Hatcher the Triceratops that greets them when they enter. They'll also see Stan the Tyrannosaurus Rex, poised as if he's possibly stalking Hatcher. So Hatcher better be careful. We also have an Edmontosaurus, which is a duck-billed dinosaur. And visitors can step up close and take a look at its very interesting teeth and learn more about how you know what an organism eats by just looking closely at their teeth. They'll also see representations of what the late Cretaceous environment might have looked like. They'll see um, volunteers and staff working in a fossil lab, preparatory gallery, as they prep out specimens that are coming from the field every summer over the next five years. And then those spe same specimens will go into a display case just outside the fossil lab. They'll also get to learn about um, how things become fossils. We call that taphonomy. So the study of what fossils are and how you can tell how old they are and how you can tell how the organism died and what happened to it after the fossil was deposited on the ground. And we have a really neat um, interactive game to let visitors explore that concept. So the Last American Dinosaurs exhibit is just one step and one small part of a much bigger project that we currently call Deep Time. It's the Deep Time Initiative. And it involves closing our current fossil halls completely renovating that entire space, which is the largest renovation project ever undertaken at the museum. And then redesigning a brand new exhibit, which will open to the public in 2019 in that same space. It's an incredibly exciting endeavor. And we're using this Last American Dinosaurs exhibit as a way to start interacting with our visitors, talking with them, and helping us to develop with them as part of our process, the new exhibition that will open in 2019. It's the first time the museum has ever tried something like that and we're really excited to take this journey with our visitors as part of it.